Hi, how? Hello, everyone. This is Lars Masterclass. My name is Lawrence. Welcome to our Chinese Masterclass, Pinyin Lesson 5. In our previous video, we discussed the seven initials of Chinese language. The first one is the 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 beautiful so in today's episode we are going to be looking into the three initials written on the board which are the first one which is letter J has a sound of Jeep 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 the next one tip. just like English word Chip, chip, add a strong airflow. That is, chip, 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 chip. So, the last one, which is for just like xylophone in English language, xylophone in English language. Here, for it to get this sound correctly, you need to lower your tongue to touch the back of your lower teeth, and then widespread your lips so the first things we are going to use to practice them is beautiful so now watch and see as we practice them watch my mouth using these three things to practice these three initials so the first one let's practice it second one The last one, beautiful. I would like to clear something here. You remember when we are practicing the first one, which is and we can observe that two of them seems the same thing. It seems that they both have the same sounds. But I would like you to note this down. Why pronouncing the and the only two difference there is that why there is always a little airflow then why making the sound there is always a strong airflow very strong airflow then the final one there is free airflow that is so let's practice it back with this uh, with the one we said that we are going to use for practicals so listen attentively the first one The next one, and the last one, Beautiful. Remember we said that initials cannot stand alone, that they need finals for them to be sensible. So now, remember in the last time we discussed about the seven simple finals, which are A, O, E, I, U, E, R. Beautiful. So these three initials can only go with three finals, which are E and U. Then, when it goes with e, the two dots on top of the e must be removed. It must not be there. So now, let's practice it with e first and see how it goes and also learn a uh, new vocabulary from there. But firstly, let's practice it with e. So using that same method, we have j, t, j, t. The next one will have chi 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 
chi, chi, chi. The last one will have shi, xi, shi, xi, shi, xi. Beautiful. So let's learn some new vocabularies here. So the first vocabulary that we are going to learn here is ji, ji. What does that mean? Ji ji means foul. Ji foul. So we can say ji ro. Ji ro means chicken. Ji ro that is foul meat. Ro means meat. Then the second one we can learn using the other method. We have ti ti. What is ti? Ti means seven. So in Chinese, if we want to say seven, we say ti. Then the last one we can learn si si. What does that mean? Si means west. So in Chinese, if we want to say west, we say si. Beautiful. So what about the u sound? So adding that, we have jute. Jute. Jute what means sentence. Sentence. Jute. Another one. Jute. Jute. What does that mean? It means tangerine. Tangerine. Beautiful. The last one we can learn. Chiu. 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 What does that mean? To go. So I can say Chiu. Nali. Chiu, nali. Where are you going? Where are you going? Chiu, nali. Then, chiu. What does that mean? It means to withdraw. So I can say, chiu chen, chiu chen, meaning what? To withdraw money. Chiu chen, chen literally means money. Then the last one, shu, shu. It means to need when you need something. So, but it always goes with something. Yao. So we can say shu yao, shu yao, to need. Shu yao qian, need money. Shu yao qian, need money. So you can need anything. So beautiful. So now let's practice back this new vocabulary that we just studied now. The first one we learned, ji, ji. Judy, 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 Judy. Watch, it has rising tones, so all the tones are there for you to recognize them. Judy, Judy. The second one, T, 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 T. Chiu Chen, Chiu Chen. Then the next one, Si, Si, Shu Yao, Shu Yao. Nice one. So remember, today we've been able to learn this initial. So what you have to do is to keep on practicing these initials every day. It is going to help you in your studies. Without these initials, you are going nowhere in Chinese studies. So don't bother learning the vocabularies. Don't bother studying this sentence. But if you know them, it is very, very nice. But don't bother. What we are trying to let everybody know here are the initials. So if we can master the initials, other ones is going to be very simple for us. So recently we've been able to cover up to 14 initials. So we still have seven initials to discuss. So follow up in our next video, we are going to talk more of the initials. Thank you for watching. See you next time.